Hey, sorry about that, guys. My mic had cut out um, when I recorded me doing this one, so I'm just going to quickly go over it. So for this, let me toggle all this stuff off. So I created a curvature. I adjusted these settings. I inverted it. Let me hit 9 for you. This is what I get. Oops. Um, can I actually delete that? Oh, wait, no. I think it's this one I delete. What? What's going on? This one. Okay. Then I do a gradient remap. This is what I'm getting. Do a noise. Adjust the settings. Set this to distort. Lower the opacity. Brightness and contrast. And then I inverted it. Just to get some weird... The distortion's pretty high, so I'm going to lower it some. So that's what I'm going to do for this. Just... All right, so let's keep adding some 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 nice stuff. All right, so let's keep uh, got to do wrap to base up the threshold, mass stack, and for this guy again, we're going to give him a curvature, just a curvature. Do another gradient remap. Oh, let me invert this. Repeat this guy. Bring his range down here. Use a different noise this time. Really one, maybe. Pump this, pump this. I'll click it. You're going to use it as a subtract. And then we're going to add a brightness and contrast. Pump this up. Maybe do a little bit of that. Maybe not too strong there. And we're going to lower the opacity. And let's actually do that again for this. So it's it's it's, it's looking kind of weird now, but we're going to keep adding stuff to help uh, finesse it. Um, we can always go and add a paint to kind of... Oh, it's not on this one. Add a paint to kind of like get rid of the areas. Don't kinda, I don't really like on the edges there. So, just keeping it dirty. We're all, it's all dirty business over here. Maybe keep a little bit coming down. And that looks cool to me. Let's keep going. Threshold, wrap to base. Oops, sorry guys. Um, some more color. Maybe adjust the roughness some. And again, we're going to do... I'm pretty sure I could just keep duplicating the stacks, but not going to. I'm going to show you guys from scratch. So three. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see if we actually we're gonna dupe him, set him to a min. Does that do anything? I don't know if it really does. What if we did a subtract or multiply maybe? Let's uh, adjust this guy some. Pump him up. Pump him up. Actually, we want to do that probably here too. And then do again gradient remap. Repeat it. 
bring that curve up see what we're getting do a different noise where'd it go oh noise whirly two maybe how come it's not being applied noise whirly what the hell noise that was super weird I'll click this frequency this guy and we're going to set him to a subtract and let's brightness contrast throw this up bring this up let's see what we could do to adjust this guy it's too granular for me So I'm do a lot of that and let's lower this down I'm gonna lower the opacity and what I'm actually gonna do go in here do a paint and then we got these cool brushes that we can use to kind of just start taking away Um, different brush so it doesn't look the same uh, do some oop, that doesn't look good you can also bring stuff back as minimum click to uh, adjust the brush size Let's go back to removing some. Also, if you want to continue your stroke, hit T. So we can go across. Let's go back and add. Some stuff there. Let's uh, bring that roughness down because it is so dirty. Cool. All right. And so now, uh, if you want to see what the your paint mask, just click on the mask and hit there. So that's that's the tile or the procedural stuff with us subtracting and adding some paint info in. And we're gonna do so. This one, another one thing I wanted to cover is that you don't have to just always paint and do things inside of the Quixel mixer. We could always load in images. So go to the stack, and this time we're gonna hit image and we're gonna hit load. And if I go to my intro, I have this drip mask that I had made in a different uh, software. Oh, oops, and it's using a different, uh, give me one second, guys. All right, so I just had the wrong one loaded in, so go here, and then now that we have this loaded mask in, it's super cool, it's super fun, you can make this mask in uh, any other software. So it's kind of be like a little rust. That's way too much. And now on this guy, actually on his thing, I wanted to kind of like subtract just the, the tiniest. I'm actually sure gonna set him from above. So it goes in, yeah, there we go. 
Just adjust him, fine tune him. Um, make him just pure white. And we can obviously lower the opacity on that guy. And cool thing is that it's loaded in. We can still use all the other stuff. We could either blur it. We can. Uh, I think I tried beveling it and then just really lowering the opacity. I thought that was kind of cool. So let's see what that does. Eh, you can probably just use a blur. That was cool. And then for the lot, I think all it needs is like a just a deeper like overall grunge like rain stains or something like that. Maybe not rain stains, but just something else. Something like dark and grimy. So, wrap to base. Gotta make him pretty dark. Well, let's fuck with some other colors. Alright, mass stack. Start off with a solid. I usually should start off with solids, but I forget sometimes. But curvature, invert it. Bring this up, make him pretty tight. Remap, because you know I love that remap. Just do it like once. We're gonna hit mirror. Hmm, tasty. All right, that's fine with me for now. And then what we're going to do is apply a noise. Go here. Set him to distort. Bring that distort intensity. Uh, bring these up. Bring these up. Yeah, lower this. And let's add a, another noise. Keep them regular. Again, bump them, bump them. Set him to subtract. Do a brightness and contrast only on this guy. If I did that, nope. What if we did multiply? Um, anyways, let's uh, lower this guy's opacity and then again go into my handy paint layer I'm just gonna go in and remove some of this stuff oh. Peter slowing down guys rotate it Hit T so we could adjust all of them. Change brush. this one up a little higher and then we can add like some cool
Oops. Just switching it up. And all these brushes you can uh, get if you have the subscription, you could just download them straight from the library. This this will last one. Maybe even go back in. Oh, this one's cool. Hit T just to see what our main material is looking like. Maybe get rid of a little bit here. Oh, um, but and if you're wondering how I'm toggling between uh, removing and adding, I'm hitting X similar to Photoshop to change uh, from black and white. Cool. Well, I'm pretty happy overall. Maybe lower the opacity a little bit. Cycle through. Um, maybe even give this guy, make him from above. Give or no, from no below. And then just give him maybe like the tiniest of normal map information, like just the gunk buildup coming up. I don't like this area here. Cool. Well, all right, man. Well, here we did it, guys. Uh, Spacebar to go into full viewport mode. And this is kind of the overall how I create stuff without having to implement any scans because I feel like you can get a lot of mileage with just creating layers and masks and stuff like that and using some paint brushes and yeah you can uh, do a lot of fun stuff and even at the end besides so if I, I this one's using a height map so if I toggle this off really quick it'll be super easy to just go ahead and go back to your main stack and if you're like you know what I need more tiles because you just need I need more tiles so we're gonna tile that one we're gonna what was that six bring this to six now it's at seven six Go here, we're gonna offset it. And then now, all that cool stuff that we did didn't lose much work, right? Because all of it's using the procedural stuff, all the noises. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. You might have to go back and adjust some of the painting, but other than that, real quick, a lot of fun, and uh, hope this video was informative. Thanks, guys. See ya.